Hello to my dear, dear friends. How are you? This is Tamara Weeks with Tam's Daily Vlog. I'm going to show you what I packed in the backpack to keep in the van. But first, we're going to go say hello to Micah before she gets on the van. She's already gone, and I'm just making the video about the backpack. So let's go say hello to Micah, and then I'll come back and tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> Micah is like running through the house here. Run, run, run. She is ready. Her bus is here. Like five minutes early. Huh. Okay. When that bus is here, man, you are ready to go, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's time to go see Bridget. Yep. You gonna see her today? Yeah. She said yesterday that she saw her, but she didn't get to spend any time with her. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'll spend time with her today? Yeah. Yeah. That's your Bridget? Your Bridget? Yeah. Yeah. So when she points oh, to her me. chest, she's saying, my Bridget. My Bridget. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're really happy today. You're in such a good mood. You just talk, 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 talk. All right. Yeah. yeah. You ready? Oh. I have this jacket on. I'm not going to put the other one on. She get too. Turns her chair on right there. And there she comes, around in that corner. Good golly. Steam racer today. And here's Miss Pretty Naya. Hi, you guys. Hold on, my good dog. This is sexy. <laughs> Ooh. Stretch? <laughs> she says, I've been waiting all night long for you, and I have to wait some more. <laughs> Monday. I'm not back this afternoon. Okay? All right. Alright, you're good to go, Michael. Alright, there she rolls up there. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she is in such a good mood today. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, Look she's really pants. happy. Alright, you're good, okay. Michael. <laughs> Those are called tie downs where they brace the wheelchair down to the bottom of the van there. This is a fold-up lift. Just folds right up there. Alrighty. Oh. Thank you, Miss Naya. No problem. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll see you Monday. Okay, I'll see you Monday. See ya. Bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yesterday I put up a video of us packing to go to Indianapolis. We're already back home now. And I told you I would give you two videos. One was the backpack that was going in the van. The other video was going to be just what we packed. But when I went through and I edited it, I didn't really make a video. There wasn't enough in there specific to the backpack where I could take that out and make it a separate video. So what I did was we came home and unpacked this backpack and then I repacked it because we currently have a van that Micah cannot get her electric wheelchair up into. It doesn't have a lift on the van. So we currently just walk her up into the van, have a manual wheel wheelchair in the back. Most of the time we're just going to church. We have Wednesday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. And I never have a backpack for her. And there's always something wrong with her hair. There's always, you know, something that I need in a backpack while we're gone. We're only gone, you know, two, three, maybe four hours at a time. So I don't have a big need for a backpack, but when I need something, I need it and I don't have it. So I packed up this backpack. This backpack used to be on Micah's current wheelchair and I just got tired of it and got her a different chair. So I went downstairs to get this one for the trip. That way we always have a backpack in the van with the manual wheelchair. And I'm currently sitting on Micah's bed. If you've seen a lot of videos, you know I'm sitting on her bed. I was going to do this somewhere else, and I thought, well, it's kind of hard to set up when I need to show you something. So this way I can sit my favorite way, which is Indian style, and sit on Micah's bed and show you what I need to show you. And the lights that I use were already in here. It was in here from the last video. Okay, so it's got a lot of pockets in here. 
the big giant pocket. I just save that up. I don't generally take Micah to the bathroom at church. Very rarely do I. We're not usually gone long enough that I need to be concerned about that. We take her right before we leave, and then she goes again to the bathroom right before we get home. Micah does wear incontinent products, but we do take her to the bathroom every two, three, four hours. It kind of depends on what the schedule is. So she stays dry an awful lot, but she does need to wear briefs for the times when we can't get her to the bathroom in time. Even taking her to the bathroom every two or three hours, sometimes she's still wet in that time frame. It must have something to do with how much she's drank or whatever. You know, sometimes I go to the bathroom a lot closer together than other times. So I packed three of the tab briefs. These are three larges. I just took care of the order that's going to come in for the month of June. June, I think it is. We're still in May. Maybe it's May. It must, it's May's order, I guess. Her incontinent shipment that's coming in, and I asked for two packages of size medium, and I'm going to see. I used a couple of samples, but I'm going to see if we go through a couple of packages if a medium is a little more doable, and maybe it won't have so much access, uh, excess right here at the top of the brief, and I'm just going to see if it works a little better. Okay, so liners. I put three liners in here. We use a brief, and then we put the liner in there. What's really nice about the liner, and we just went to Indianapolis for Kendall's graduation, what was really nice is when we would stop somewhere and I would take her to the bathroom, sometimes... This was just a little bit wet, so I could just pull it out, replace it, and it was a ton easier than replacing the entire brief. So this worked really well, and most of the time on this four-day trip, she was dry almost every single time I took her to the bathroom, which was really cool. I only put one brief because we put this on to kind of hold everything up and together. We're going to try these medium briefs to see if maybe we can eliminate this piece. I'm not sure if we can or not. I only put one of these in here because she wears briefs, uh, not briefs, she wears tights all through the winter. So I would have to completely undress her from the waist down in order to get one of these on her. But just in case we needed one, I just put, I just packed one of those in here. I took a Ziploc bag and I put things that would, that go with her hair. So there's just a little thing of hair gel. Micah's got really long hair. We use a lot of hair gel, a lot of hairspray. I put some lip balm in here. I don't ever put lip balm on Micah. She just drools a lot. I don't see any real purpose, but the girls like putting it on Micah, and I guess Micah likes it for just that second. I guess it just feels kind of special to get that. I love cologne for me, and so I always make sure that the girls just hose Micah down with cologne. So I put some of this in there. This is Mary Kay. I thought this was, this smells like flowers. I thought this was a different one, but now that I'm smelling it, this is a, I thought it was the woodsy one. We have this little set of these, but this is some kind of a, some kind of a floral scent. So if we go out and she needs to smell good, then I put some of that in here. And I just, has anybody ever seen one of these? These are those old, these are from when I was a kid. Tupperware, they were party favors. Tupperware party favors when... Tupperware representatives. My mom used to be really big in Tupperware. I guarantee you this is from when I was a little kid and I am 51 years old. I bet this is from when I was in maybe junior high school many, many years ago. So this works, you know, just to, to brush your hair back and to fix it really fast. We don't use that kind of brush here in the house. It was just one that I already had and I think it will work for the purpose I'm putting it in the, in the, in here. I put some spray, just some of that body spray that doesn't have very, very much scent and it doesn't last for very long, but it is the smell of vanilla and I thought there may be a time to just spray her down real fast with something like this. It's summertime, so I put some sunscreen in here. I am positive this girl has more than one pair of sunglasses. They might both be in the backpack she carries every day. We'll go through that one day because we're getting ready to clean that backpack out. Make sure we don't have any gloves in there. Make sure she has a hat. I didn't find a hat to put in here, but she needs a hat for when we when we go out. Not necessarily to church, but if we're outside somewhere, then I don't have to worry about packing everything up. She's already got sunscreen. She's got a hat. She's ready to go. 
I put some lotion in here in case she needs it. Hand sanitizer to clean her hands off. Some of these Kleenex. There's always a need for Kleenex to wipe her chin and her hands off. So I put some of these in here. Okay, these are baby wipes. And these are facial wipes. These are makeup removers. Somebody gave these to me, but I can like wipe Micah's face off if she needs it wiped off. Now, in case you guys don't know, because I find that CNAs don't know this, and this just happened this week about three days ago, baby wipes are made to go on baby's bottoms. I'm not sure exactly how they make these, but they are not designed for any other skin on your body. They, the skin on our face, even though it gets the most exposure, it's very sensitive. So if you start wiping your face with these or wiping your children's faces with these, their skin is going to break out with little bumps and it's going to get really red. These right here, these makeup removers, they also make just regular cleansers for your face. They formulate the stuff on these wipes different and the texture is different and they are designed specifically for your face. So don't put baby wipes on your face. Just in case you didn't know that because that's happened several times actually here at the house. I put a toothbrush in here. This is just one of those travel toothbrushes. We are completely out of toothpaste. I couldn't find any toothpaste anywhere. Just to even put some in here for the video. So this is just one of those travel things just for when we're out and maybe need one. I don't brush your teeth too much when we're out, but Micah gets what we call these chipmunk cheeks. Her food gets packed right above her teeth up here, sometimes right down here, but mostly up here. After she eats, if she has this stuff packed in her teeth, a few minutes later, she's drooling and all. You get these chunks of food coming down her face and coming down on her shirt. So that's the purpose of needing a toothbrush. Oh, there's an extra toothbrush. I didn't know this one was in there. We'll take that one out. I think I have one more thing in here. Let's see. All these pockets. Oh, I had these in here. Now, I don't know where these came from. I found these when we were on our trip in the van to Indianapolis. Somebody grabbed a whole bunch of Walmart bags and must have put them in the van. They know that we use these for Micah, so they were already in the Ziploc bag and their Walmart bag, so don't tell Walmart that somebody stole some of their bags. But these are just to put, like, briefs in or any kind of trash that we might have for Micah, so those are always good to have in the backpack. And I think that's everything that I put in here, but I wanted to show you what we're putting in Micah's backpack for the summer. If you have any great ideas, Shorty, I know that you had the idea, or you told me that you never go anywhere without your Allen wrenches. We have a lot of those downstairs, so I can go check those out. But I guess I wouldn't need just any old Allen wrench. It would need to be specific to fit something. So I'm not sure that that's really going to be practical as I got to thinking about that. We're not going to be taking the wheels off the wheelchair while we're out on some random trip because I did a video recently where Rick came over. He takes care of all of Micah's equipment and he removed the wheel in order to replace the fender on top of it and used an Allen wrench. And there is an Allen wrench that he uses on the stander, which is right behind the camera. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas of things that you think I might be missing in here that you find are practical, I would love to hear about that. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Felicia Thorne asked me to please ask this question on video. I even wrote myself a note and almost forgot. How old is Miss Micah? Micah is 27 years old. She was born October 30th, 1988. She was born two weeks after our one-year anniversary. We got married October 17th of 1987, and she was born in 88. Thank you so much for your question. Ask me anything you'd like for me to put on a video if you've got ideas, questions. I am looking to give you what you want on your videos. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.